We're at Seven World Trade Center. Our agency was brought in to work with Roberta Coyne. We're focusing on six different collections and we're shooting with Christy Turlington Burns. She represents beauty, internal goodness, everything put together. She represents something that people can look up to and want to emulate or at least aspire to. I'm here to be in the new Roberta Coyne advertising campaign and not only am I a fan of the jewelry itself, I was very um, pleased to be invited on because it was a, there's a charitable aspect and pretty much at this point in my life and my career, that's the one thing I respond to and that I, I like to do. Youth AIDS is the organization that Roberto Coyne is affiliated with. It's a great organization because it really deals with education and prevention. And when we're in this empty space that has the most magnificent views. It's actually, some people are a little bit afraid of the view and <laughs> have been staying at the, in, in the interior of the building. I don't have an apartment that's at all as high, but this actually makes it seem like something that would be pretty cool. Today is more like natural, modern, glamour. She wanted to keep it looking like Christie. To keep it looking like Christie, kind of beachy but natural, but I like it. It takes a long time when the electric keeps going out. <laughs> and I can't blow dry, yeah. So it took a little extra long today. Uh, we're going for um, a bit glamorous, but in a very natural way. I mean, it's Christy Turlington. She looks amazing with, without any makeup. For the eyes, we went for this, like, um, gray smoky. This kind of shiny pearl color. Use this one for blush. It's like a touch on the apples. Not too glamorous, just like to freshen it up. The idea, I guess, with a lot of the clothes is not to overtake the jewelry, but more to complement them. So we just looked a lot more like textures, colors, keeping things really simple, just to sort of focus really on the jewelry and, and enhance it, really. And all of the jewelry pieces, they don't really overpower me, which is nice. As elegant as they are, they're not like overbearing in any way. They're very elegant. Well, Inez and Venuda are amazing. They're actually like my favorite. They're a team and they're a husband and wife, which is kind of a unique situation. And I think it's a, it's a, it's a great thing to just even observe. I love the photos they've taken of me. They have a really intimate style of working. It's always very quiet and serene and relaxed. And, that's also something that I'm attracted to at this point in my life, you know, just a, a nice, easy vibe. <laughs> well, I'm a New Yorker, and just being close to the World Trade Center location and seeing all of the energy and the newness that's here now, again, I think is pretty exciting. I think to, you know, to sort of be a part of that image, I think is, you know, it's pretty powerful and hopefully an optimistic message for the rest of the world. The Fantasia collection is incredible. It's black sapphires and diamonds, so that's something that feels quite exotic, that combination. Really, really beautiful, and today I just saw it for the first time, but I'm excited to wear it. Well, the signature collection for Roberta Coyne is um, the Appassionata. It is a classic gold weave. It's really beautiful, really elegant. You know, I would say pretty contemporary, too. And There was a time where the last thing I wanted to do was get touched or primped and prodded, but I have a new appreciation. My daughter now, like she's like my biggest fan, just the idea of like, wow, mommy's wearing a dress, or what are earrings are you wearing? You know, she's really into all that. So I have to say now through her eyes almost, I come to work in a different way. <laughs> <laughs>